Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I am so excited to be sitting down and doing this voiceover and filming and editing this video because I have been sick for the last week with you know what and the idea of getting out of bed and getting in front of the camera and filming was just not at all possible. So the fact that I'm on the mend and I'm doing better now and I'm actually getting this video up is very exciting. Now, if I sound congested, you know why. Um, it wreaked havoc on my sinuses, so I'm still not 100%, but I have tested negative now, which is awesome. But yeah, enough about that. In this video today, we are gonna be recreating seven Pinterest outfits. You know that I absolutely adore Pinterest for all outfit inspiration. So that's what we're doing. I'm picking seven outfits from weekend to casual to maybe workwear event appropriate and then we're just going to be breaking them down to items that i have in my closet let's get into it <laughs> so with this first outfit i don't normally wear boots and shorts together but this outfit is so chic and so effortless that i had to try it for myself the neutral color palette and the crisp whites of the short and the shirt are everything that i love about summer style in the inspiration photo, she's using a leather tote bag, but I don't really have a black leather tote bag, so I'm gonna be reaching for my Balenciaga shoulder bag that I got from LXR & Co. And I will be leaving my 20% discount code down in the description below. But I love the black because it does tie it back to the black Balenciaga tire boot. Having a little black when you're wearing light colors just helps ground the outfit and give it a little bit more dimension. Overall, I feel very confident and very comfortable in this outfit. This isn't something I would have normally thought to put together, but now that I have it on, it feels great. I'm, I really like it. Um, I would probably wear this to an event or dinner with friends, but yeah, this is a fun outfit. This next look is another effortless one, and I love the pointed toe mules and the simple white tank paired with the leather pants. I just think it looks really chic and very effortless. If you noted in the last outfit, I did mention comfort. And let me tell you that immediately, I feel very uncomfortable wearing this. I'm not used to wearing tight clothes, especially tight tops, and I feel very exposed and vulnerable wearing this. This is a big no for me. The thing is, part of style is about owning what you're wearing and feeling comf comf I can't say it, comfortable and confident. And it's really hard to fake your confidence if you're uncomfortable. That's just facts, um, unless you're really damn good at faking it. Now, I'm keeping those clips in there where I feel uncomfortable and where I don't look my best, and I'm talking about it because I feel like not enough people talk about this, and it's something that took me years, like years, even decades, to figure out that if you're uncomfortable, you are not going to exude your best, most stylish self. So what I did, because I did like the outfit of the Pinterest photo that I pulled, I swapped the tank with a t-shirt. All of a sudden, I feel like I'm not as exposed. I feel more comfortable. It's not tight fitting against my body. And all of a sudden, I feel like I can own this outfit. I paired it with aviator sunglasses. These ones are for, from Port Tanger, and they have that retro uh, aviator aesthetic that I really like and now I feel awesome in this outfit I'd wear this to an event or to dinner with my husband and by the way these leather pants are from Novo London and they are phenomenal I think everybody should have a pair of leather pants in their collection I was drawn to this next outfit because of the shoulder padded tank and the trousers but this girl is having a real Dior moment and I don't own anything Dior except for makeup. So we're gonna go reach for Gucci. She also has a lot of chains on and I normally wouldn't layer on this many necklaces, but for the sake of trying out this look, I'm gonna go for it. These are all Julia Vaughn necklaces, by the way, and I'm gonna link her website down below. You should definitely check her out because her jewelry is phenomenal. Now she's wearing white glasses, but I'm opting for my Port Tanger glasses again because I love a good retro aviator. And I also feel like it really suits the Gucci aesthetic. I'm wearing my mini Marmont bag. This is from last year's collection and I did do a little collaboration with Gucci. So I'll make sure that I leave the, lid, the video down below if you wanna check out my review. And I'm wearing my Gucci screener sneakers. These ones are in the distressed finish. Overall, I'm obsessed with this look. This is very much me. This kind of feels like a uniform styling for me. I love black trousers and this tank is everything for the summer. So I'm just looking forward to wearing this outfit out. Maybe not with as many necklaces, but this is a great outfit. This next look is something different for me, but it looks really cozy and perfect for grabbing coffee on the weekend. 
Now, I have a thing for striped shirts, as you can see, and I have a similar one from Zara. It's a bit longer in length. I wouldn't normally wear it with a looser pant. I would typically wear something like that with leggings or with shorts. But for the sake of trying this outfit out, we're gonna pair it with the longer shirt. My only fear is that I'm gonna appear shorter because I'm 5'4 and I wanna look taller, not shorter. I felt a bit overwhelmed in this outfit. I felt like I was kind of drowning in the shirt. Also, it's quite billowy, so once I added the trench coat on top, there was some weird bunching happening around the, the neckline of the shirt, so I just decided to change it out. I think it looks chic. Maybe if I was taller, this would look really great, but I just feel like it's too much fabric for, um, for my petite frame. So I'm swapping it out and we're going for my Margiela cotton tee. This one hits me at about hip length, which means that it's gonna be more flattering on my frame. As you know, proportions are very important when you're petite. It's really important to find a good balance between everything. So if you're not sure, play around with it, see how you feel and um, try things out. That's all I can stress. If there's anything that I learned from this video and from just getting inspiration from Pinterest in general is that trying new things is key because you never know how you're gonna react to something. And this is also how your style sort of evolves as time goes on. You just try new things and you either own it or you don't. This next look is inspired by this gorgeous puff sleeve dress. I don't have anything like this. However, I did just get a taffeta blouse from Kika Varga. I wore this with my black pleated Balenciaga skirt for a wedding, but Monique's vibe is more casual, which is why I'm going for a pair of jeans. And then just to keep the casual summery theme going, I'm reaching for my Loewe basket bag. This one is from the Totoro, Totoro collaboration from last year, I think. But overall, I love this look. I never would have thought to put this together. It's just, there's something very casual and effortless. I know I keep saying effortless a lot, but I'm very much drawn to looks that just look very um, effortless, <laughs> for lack of a better word. And it feels kind of romantic and feminine. I think that my style is currently evol evolving to include more feminine pieces. In the past, I've always referred to my style as more androgynous, very much inspired by menswear. And something is happening right now. It's evolving. I'm kind of tapping into my feminine side. I'm showing a little more skin, not tight tops though, don't get it twisted. And I'm just more comfortable and confident in everything that I'm wearing these days. So I'm very much looking forward to summer and just playing around with all these different looks. Okay, second last outfit. This is a no-brainer outfit for me, AKA a uniform. When I have to run out the door, I have an event or a dinner and I didn't think about what I was gonna wear in advance. This is my go-to formula. It's basically a pair of trousers, a t-shirt, a blazer. You can't go wrong with this kind of combination, especially when you're investing into good quality pieces. I reach for my favorite YSL trousers, my YSL canvas shoes, and then my Frankie Shop blazer, my bold aviators, show my personality for all things weird and the outfit is not exactly boring because I've accessorized it to the point where it really suits me my personal style and if I did want to swap out the basket bag and make it more office appropriate again I don't work in an office I work from home I would definitely reach for my shoulder bag from Balenciaga let's get into the last look I'm so excited about this I really surprised myself with this one, but the beauty of going on Pinterest and looking for inspiration is getting ideas and trying something new. I urge everybody to go out and to try something new when it comes to your style. Step outside of your comfort zone every so often and you never know what's gonna happen. Like I said before, this is how your style evolves. My style is definitely more androgynous, menswear inspired, but again, something is happening where I'm drawn to more feminine pieces. And when I saw this picture, I thought, mm, you know what, I'm gonna try it. I have a similar dress um, from Anine Bing from a couple of years ago. I think I've worn it once or twice, and I don't really know how to style a piece like this. I never in a million years would have thought to pair it with an oversized blazer, but something about the photo kind of made me want to try it for myself. Here I am styling it with a pair of leather flat sandals from Reformation, my Bottega mini pouch from LXR & Co, and then I paired it with my aviators from Tom Ford. This is a great outfit. I'm so happy that I decided to try it and go for it. I feel so comfortable and feminine, and this is something that I would probably wear to a special event. This is something I would wear to dinner with my husband, maybe a special occasion, something like that, like an anniversary dinner. 
but this was a lot of fun to do. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you were able to take away a couple of style tips from me. And if you did enjoy it, make sure you follow me on Instagram, like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me over on Pinterest too, because I swear I post multiple photos every single day. So you're gonna find a lot of inspiration there from home decor to beauty to even style. But let me know what your favorite outfit is. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.